Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to be teaching you how I convert my photos in DaVinci Resolve. Basically, it's a very simple process. Um, when I get my pictures in, I actually bring them in as negatives. So when you'll see them, they look like this. Um, I'm shooting Kodak Vision 3 500T and it is my new favorite film stock. I shot on Portra. I still do if I need a quick turnaround. But um, the predominant stock that I shoot on now is Kodak Vision 3. Uh, I love 500. I know there's 250. But um, a lot of the time I shoot in indoor settings or varied lighting conditions. So I prefer the extra uh, capability of the film. Anyway, so what I start off with is the inverted scan. Um, I asked the lab to scan them as TIFF format, as you can see, and I prefer them to be scanned as negatives. I know that labs can do that for you and convert everything and flip it, but I would rather them not. I like to do this myself, and I've also had very weird mixed results from <laughs> labs scanning them. Um, I'd like as much control as possible when getting this stuff done. So the first thing that I do is I go into the curves and I basically just um, invert it. You'll see the curves, the custom curves here. And I basically drag the point from here to here. So you can see I go down, like up and down, oops, up and down and you get back to that point, you know? Um, so that's all that I do here. This step is my base. So what I'm doing, I use printer lights. Um, you can access those as the number keys in DaVinci Resolve, but I'm just basically um, offsetting everything. You can see here, I just bring everything down. Um, I like the image a bit darker. This one is balancing. So what I do here is I use the lift controls. Uh, I go into the color bars and I balance them accordingly. So you can see on the scopes, the blue is higher, green, and red right? But when I balance them out, I uh, use the lift and I balance out the bottom, like the lower end of the image. Uh, that's just my preference, right? Then in this node here, I add contrast, right? That's it. And then I shift everything down again. And that is it. That is literally it. <laughs> it's a very simple process. I do this with everything. Um, exact same for this image. Let me close this down. Um, okay, so inversion. Right. Bring it down. Match the black point. Contrast. And darken again. And that is it. It is extremely simple. I do this for everything. Um, certain images, of course, I'm using a bit more, um, you know, to adjust things and play with them. But it's it's basically the same thing. I mean, you usually kind of hit the mark very quickly. Certain images, of course, I'll need to push a little more. But <clears throat> in general, you know, this is very minor. You can see, like, compensating for the blue and the shadows, you know, again, another drop, contrast, general balance, because you get quite blue, darken, invert. That is it. That is really it. And the thing about this is that I love to make stuff very simple for people. I want it to be as easy as possible. So that is it. That is the exact way that I do it. Um, you know, for ease, I may just bundle this into a little power grade for people if anybody really wants it. Um, but it's, it's not, yeah, that's, it's really not that, that crazy. There's nothing really extreme about it. Um, I love to keep stuff simple. And of course, if you're grading a shot to taste, you can do things, you know, like say I'd like more lift in the shadows or something. You know, you can turn on your splines, you can pick your point and you can, you know, wake up the shadows a bit and say, okay, I like to see a little more into that, right? 
but that is to taste. Beyond that, um, nah, that's basically it, dude. Keep it simple. <laughs>